For the first time in history, the general public is going to be able to compete for a seat to space. That's right, billionaire Jared Isaacman, founder of Shift for Payments, which handles around $200 billion of global commerce, has bought an entire Crew Dragon mission in order to send four people to space. Of course, he himself is going to be on it. One person is going to be a recovered cancer patient and frontline worker from St. Jude, and he's also planning on sending two civilians to the great beyond. And I'm going to tell you in this video how you can be a part of this groundbreaking and historic mission. The first way to get involved in this mission is through the Shift for Payments Entrepreneur Method, where you have to create an inspirational business model using Shift for Payments. But this is likely not going to be an option you're going to choose unless you've got an existing business or a really great idea. So I'm going to tell you the easiest way to compete for a chance to be on this flight. It's by signing up for the sweepstakes. And now there are two ways to enter. The first and probably best option is to donate to St. Jude. If you donate $10, you'll get 100 entries, $25 for $250, and so on and so forth until you reach a maximum of 10,000 entries, which is the cap for anyone involved in this mission. This is a good idea so you don't have people with millions of dollars just donating all of it and buying their way onto, this, onto the mission. But if you're short on cash, there is another way to enter the sweepstakes. Since lotteries are technically illegal in America, Inspiration4 is obligated to provide a free way to compete. This is why you see a lot of sweepstakes saying there is no purchase necessary to compete in it, even though most people just buy the thing anyways and compete in the sweepstakes. And this is the same thing they're trying to do here. They make it intentionally hard for you to find the link, so you're encouraged to donate to St. Jude, which is honestly an admirable way to do it. But I will be providing the link in the description to anyone who's short on cash and still wants to participate in Inspiration4 sweepstakes. But before you go rushing off to fill that form, there are some very important rules to take into consideration before you apply. If you are under 18 years of age, you are not eligible to apply. If you are a foreign national, anyone outside of America, you are not allowed to apply. And if you've got nothing better to do and you fill these last two requirements, the form can be submitted up to 100 times, netting you 100 entries each time for a total of 10,000. Now, I want to talk about what the Inspiration4 mission actually means for the future of commercial space, because we've seen a lot of big name private spaceflight activities happen recently. Most notable is Axiom Space's first attempt at a privately organized spaceflight. This one is going to have a privately trained astronaut on it, so it technically doesn't usurp Inspiration4's claim to the first all civilian spaceflight. But what it has drawn is a lot of flack for being an all-white crew of really rich old men. And I think the reaction to this has been a bit overblown by people in the spaceflight community. Sure, I'm all for diversity, especially in government-run programs, which I think should be representative of the general population. But when you're talking about a privately-run organization, they have to make a profit. And if it happens that the people with both the means and the interest to go to space are old white men, I don't think that's a huge problem, although I do think that this next mission, Inspiration4, is a great way to raise public awareness for spaceflight. I mean, for God's sakes, they're going to have a Super Bowl ad advertising this. And since Jared Isaacman is paying for this mission himself, I've heard a rumor that he's going to choose a woman as the cancer survivor. And of course, whoever wins the entrepreneur competition or sweepstakes is going to be a male or a female. We don't know yet. but. What we do know is that this is going to be a massive event for private space. This is going to be the first all-civilian crew without an astronaut on board going into space at no cost to themselves. This is going to be a huge leap for the perception of space tourism and space travel in the public eye. Because until now, it's been the domain of rich people, the military, and astronauts. But now we're going to be seeing two completely random people going up into space and that is huge i really can't say how important this is and it's just adding to this year which is going to be a huge year we're already seeing tons of ipos this year with companies like firefly and astra going public not to mention kathy woods arc x which is going to be a huge event for capital and space so i think 
Inspiration 4 is going to be what it claims to be and be a huge inspiration to not only those who are selected and get the unique privilege of going to space, but for everyone watching them at home, seeing people just like themselves going into space on SpaceX's Resilience Dragon capsule sometime in 2021 is going to be huge. We're going to see the decisions come back in March and remember that you have up until February 28th to fill out the form in the description. So I'm wishing all of you good luck, and who knows, maybe one of us will go to space next year. I'm Cosplus Content, signing off.